and start things off outside. This is, I'm sorry, I never get sick of this view. This is right <laughs> across uh, the bay. It's so beautiful. I just, and I love this area, Coronado, and then you got that view of downtown San Diego. I mean, this is, this is paradise, folks. 67 in Oceanside, we're at 68 degrees in downtown San Diego, 61 in Curdy Mason, Ramona, and currently 64 degrees in El Cajon. There's that area of high pressure, that dome of really warm air just set to take over the West Coast this weekend. Notice how it moves northward towards the Pacific Northwest, and even those states, including Oregon, Idaho, Washington will also be under some sort of heat alert in the coming days because of that excessive heat uh, that we're expecting. This is our inland heat index. These are the feels like temperatures over the next few days. It's a prolonged heat wave. We're not going anywhere anytime soon when it comes to the brutal temperatures. We'll be in the mid 90s all the way through Wednesday. So what do these heat alerts really mean? Well, here's a criteria for our area. You can see where San Diego is on the bottom there. We will be under heat advisory for the inland as well as the mountain areas. That means the level of heat will affect individuals sensitive to heat. So make sure that you have adequate cooling systems and then the deserts will be under that excessive heat warning and this really affects that entire population with or without cooling. Uh, so just make sure that you're using the proper precautions. If you are doing anything outside this weekend that you are taking frequent breaks in the shade, staying hydrated, wearing loose light colored clothing because that heat's only going to compound because we're not going to have a, a lot of relief, especially when it comes to the evening hours. So that's what's going on for the next few days. Then early next week, we'll have that surge of monsoonal moisture. So not only will it be warm, but it will feel a little muggy out and we'll have that chance for thunderstorms returning in the mountains and deserts. So a lot of changes over the next few days. We'll stick in the mid upper 70s. Daytime highs will be anywhere from 2 to 10 degrees above normal all the way through the weekend. And that heat advisory will be impacting the inland valleys as well as the mountain areas beginning at 11 o'clock. So in just a few hours and it will take us all the way through Sunday night. We'll be in the mid to low 90s all the way through Thursday for the mountain area. So again, if you're looking for relief from the heat, just head west towards the beaches or the coastline because that's where the coolest temperatures will be. But even those areas are going to be warm mid to upper 70s. So if you're headed towards, let's say, the Pride Parade or, for example, the Del Mar races, also make sure that you're uh, using the proper precautions, staying hydrated because it's still really it still will be really warm there near 115. Not a lot of change. We cool down a little bit on Tuesday and Wednesday, but we're still looking at excessive heat.